Hi everyone, it's Will the Wigmaker. Welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're all safe and well. And first of all, I'd like to thank you all. I'm nearly hitting 100 subscribers, which I just cannot believe. Uh, so thank you to you all that have subscribed. So I'm going to be doing something that's a little bit different today. I'm going to be answering some of the questions that I posted online on my Instagram. Uh, if you're not following, I'll leave the details in the description box. So what I've done is I've transferred all the questions that I had on the Instagram sticker, I've written them down and I'm going to answer them here for you. So here we go. Um, just to say if anyone else has, you know, found me by accident or, you know, watched one of my tutorials, feel free to subscribe. It's free, of course. I'd love to have new people here. Okay, so here we go with the questions. Question one, how long does it take to make a lace wig? Um, this all depends on many different factors. It depends on which type of lace you're using, if it's delicate lace, you know, more time is needed as it that just cannot be rushed. Um, I mean, there's also the potential of ripping the lace if you do try to rush it. So again, potentially you could be doing another repair job. So there's that. Then there's the hair that's used. If it's really fine hair, again, more care is needed. Um, it also depends on the design of the wig as well. I mean, if the wig needs to be knotted, say with one hair and, you know, one hair knotted per hole, uh, not it, also known as ventilating, um, that will take a very long time because the holes in the lace are tiny. Um, so yeah, there's many, many different factors of making a full lace wig, if that's what you mean, and it can take up to maybe a maximum of 90 hours, in my opinion, anyway. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, question two, where do you get your hair from? Uh, again, a very frequent I get asked I get my hair from many different places. I get it from within the UK, North America, South America, Europe, many other locations. Um, if you want to know a list of suppliers then I'm really sorry but you know a wig maker has to keep you know something on that's a little bit sacred. Question three, what's your favourite thing to make? Ooh, that would, that would have to be the full lace wig or the the topper absolutely love the idea of taking what is essentially a few different raw materials, putting them together and creating something fabulous. Um, I mean, essentially you're taking an idea of something that's written down, planning on how you'll make this thing a wig or a topper or whatever it is you're making, and then it starts to come to life and bingo, you know, a new wig is born. I think it's just so magical. Next question. When making a closure, do you lay the lace horizontally or vertically? I personally lay the lace horizontally. Uh, I mean, excuse me, invariably, it, it offers a much more natural appearance. Uh, I mean, there are, you know, the odd occasions where I would lay the lace vertically, depending on what the design is. Say if uh, a closure or a frontal or whatever had to be all in a backwards direction but that's quite rare because hair doesn't grow in one solid direction as many directions hair grow hairs grow sorry so yeah i would say primarily i lay the lace horizontally next question how do you make the base uh, again i make all of my bases entirely by hand if it's a full lace wig then there's a bit of a process what happens at a mold of the client's head is taken and then along with other specific measurements uh, the, that mould which is created by using either a plastic bag and tape um, it kind of traps all the contours of the head that's taken away off the head pretty quickly because it gets really hot under you know several layers of plastic that's transferred to a block the blocks um, you know the pattern on the blocks padded out to again really capture the shape of the client's head and then the foundation is built around that and it's it has various darts and things in it so it, because you're taking what is essentially a flat material and making it into something round for that purpose so yeah that's yeah so the foundation is built around the mold and during the consultation the clients asked about what their lifestyle is um, 
what kind of place would be suitable for them because if you have a really active lifestyle and you've not got time to you know sit and really lay the lace down well you might want to go for something that's glueless or if you say don't have a lot of if maybe maybe if you have a less active life or maybe work that enables you to not move a lot and things like that you could go for a more delicate lace or if it's just a one-off piece for a special occasion it could go for a you know more delicate lace and then once that's made you know the lace is selected the hair is eventually tied into it one strand at a time or two or three depending on the density next question what's the cost of a wig if that means a full lace wig again it's it's an often asked question. My response is always the same. It depends on the hair type, the hair texture, the, the delicacy of the lace, level of customization, base type, knotting or AKA ventilating design. There's just too many, too many variables to give an instant quote. Um, what I will say is due to a custom wig being entirely handmade, it's very labor intensive. Uh, the care and attention that a wig maker has to give uh, if the wig's being made properly uh, it's definitely reflected in the price so you definitely do get what you pay for when you opt for a competent genuine wig master question seven who inspires you <sighs> i get inspiration from a lot of places it could be something i read see listen to um i like to be honest i like someone or something that's got quite an uplifting mantra uh, it's no secret i am a diehard little monster uh, i love lady gaga she inspires me uh, drag artists inspire me um i mean drag is so diverse um most of the time it's quite inclusive to uh, you know to anyone no matter who and what they are, you know? Uh, I feel that in life, inclusion is very important. Next question, what's your favorite wig? Ooh. That is a really difficult question to ask a wig maker. Uh, I really couldn't say which person wig is my favourite um, other than 95% of Lady Gaga's wigs uh, there's a very select few that I'm not so keen on uh, but I love almost all the wigs that she's had made uh, I'm, it's no secret that I'm very very jealous of her hair artist, I think his name's Freddy and I would love his job so if ever he's retiring Gaga, I'm here <laughs> as if she's gonna watch this <laughs> Or will she? You never know. Stranger things have happened. Question 9. What's the worst wig you've ever seen? Hmm. No, I'm sorry. I can't answer that because I'm not really into throwing shade, if you like. Um, next question. What's your plans for the year ahead? Well, I'm concentrating on getting my channel here growing. It's starting to grow already, so again, thank you so much to everyone that's subscribed. I promise I've got really good things coming up. If there's anything you would like to see, let me know in the comments. I'm always up for creating something new. Uh, later on this year, uh, I'll hopefully uh, be filming my lacework education, depending on what the world looks like. Uh, yeah, it's been really tough recently, so... Yeah, I've got many different plans. I'm just going to seize the day. Carpe diem, all the time. Uh, and if there's anyone out there who wants, you know, would like to discuss anything being made or created, or you want to do some sort of collaboration, uh, please reach out to me via Instagram. You can contact me on Instagram, pretty much. Everyone's on Instagram. Or Facebook, I've got that as well. Uh, or Twitter. Also, I'll, I'll leave all the details in the comments if anyone wants to, yeah, hit me up. And so if anyone needs a professional dedicated to the craft wig maker, yeah, definitely hit me up. I'd love to do in the future maybe a job for TV or film or just about anything really. I really want to learn all about 
wig making and all that entails, I would love the opportunity to work with some amazing people. And that brings me to the end of the questions. I've really enjoyed doing this. It's been a really good Q&A, don't you think? Uh, if you have any further questions for me, you know where to find me and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please, you know, do the, the important things like subscribe, share with your friends and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.